hearts. But we still have lots more to learn because learning never ends. I can't wait to get started because today we'll be doing a simple program and use our knowledge on what we learned already. This simple project shows us how to use computer mouse and paint multicolored art. Let's get started! Start a new scratch project by clicking create at the top. You will see a fresh project to start building some code. Now, let's select a sprite to work with. Hmm, what should I use today? Let's just use the scratch cat we ha have here al already. To begin the coding, let's start by dragging an event from the programming palette. Go to events category and choose one green flag click block and drag it to the script area. Now, go to look category and drag it go to random position. So, let's see what this does so far, okay? This is going to random positions, but wouldn't that be nice if we can control where it goes by mouse pointer? So, let's click on the arrow and select mouse pointer. Let's see what this code does now. Now try it out. Let it's only going to the mouse pointer once. How about we make it do that continuously until we stop? So go to controls category. Get the forever block. And place it around the go to mouse pointer block. With the forever block, we can make the action repeat until we stop. Let's see what this code does now. Click on the green button again and keep moving your mouse pointer and the cat will just follow you. Awesome! Now wouldn't it be fun if we can make the cat change colors as it moves with the mouse so how do we do that let's see since we are trying to change colors go to looks category and drag change color effect by 25 let's see what it does now wow look at that so colorful! This is a simple project. You all can try it out and play with different controls to start or different value for change color and see how the program runs. This is nice, but let me show you something you can do to make it even cooler! This is a little advanced. I will show in detail later. But click on add extension button here and this will let you add more blocks to the program palette. I will go ahead and add pen. Now the pen options will show up as a block in our programming palette. I will drag the stamp option right after the change color. This will make a stamp of our cat as it moves. Let's run it and see what it does. Awesome! Look at that! That's so cool! Let's click the stop button to stop it. Now let's try running it again. Oh! No! We can't erase this when we run again! Hmm, but maybe we can add some code to make it erase. 
Any ideas how to do that? Okay, let's see. So, we need an event to erase it all. Let's get a different event. How about one space key pressed? Drag it onto the script area. Now go to pen and select the erase all block and drag it to follow this event. So what we are basically saying is anytime click on the space bar, erase everything on the stage and will take us back to the original sprite. Let's try it out. I think it's going to be so amazing. It's so let's press break key and wow, everything erased. Let's review. We all learned how to use an event to start your program. We also learned how to get a sprite and change its color. We also learned how to make the sprite move around. I also showed a bit of using extensions and learned some new blocks.